Hey guys, it's your girl Sean, aka The Perfume Addict, and I am back. And today, we are going to talk about my fragrance collection that has been updated. I did this video about a year ago, so now it's time to update after some declutter and some purchases, so stay tuned. Alright everybody, you know the usual. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Make all these buttons click down here at the bottom. I would greatly appreciate if you did. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. We are almost at 200 subs. I am so overjoyed because that is a goal that I wanted to hit by my one year anniversary. We have another month. We have another month. So I think we're going to get there. So thank you for all of your support. All right, so let's get into our business as usual. So my fragrance of the day, you will see this later, is the original Lolita Lampica. When I say this fragrance is beautiful, it is beautiful. It has notes of star of anise, cherry, licorice, vanilla. This is just, to me, this is female in a bottle. This is such a beautiful, soft, powdery, feminine fragrance. I absolutely love love this and i rediscovered it i bought it about a year ago and hadn't been wearing it and i understand now why i purchased this fragrance my candle of the day burning behind me here is bath and body works salted butterscotch i showed that in my candle collection video uh, thank you guys so much for watching that and thank you so much for all the kind words on my makeup declutter because that video that video took me through the depths of my soul to make I had so much trouble making that video it was not even funny guys so thank you so much I got a kind comment from that thank you thank you thank you because that video was the hardest one I've ever made without a whole lot of chatter we just gonna go ahead and dig into this collection video all I'm saying is I have decluttered I have purchased I will try to link last year's video in the cards above so you can see the difference in my collection and how it has grown and has gotten bigger so here we go all right guys so we are going to walk through the updated version of my perfume collection here so this is a full view of everything so let's get to it all right, so starting on this side, we have Christian Dior's Jador. That's a classic fragrance for me. You know, I smell the new one, and I'm not too crazy about it, but this one will always be a go-to for me. This is Rihanna's Rogue Love. This is a beautiful, sweet, subtle fragrance. And I think, me personally, you can wear this in the wintertime. You can wear this in the summertime. I think it's a good year-round fragrance. This is Calvin Klein's Eternity. Y'all know the classic Eternity. As long as I can keep finding it, I'm going to keep wearing it. This is JLo's Glow Miami. And I absolutely love this fragrance. To me, this is the most beautiful coconut vanilla scent. I absolutely love this fragrance. And it's discontinued, but as long as I can find it, I will keep buying it. The other glow flankers I'm not that crazy about, but that one is a good one. So coming down here, we have Zara's Frosted Cream. And as you can see, I haven't worn it very much, but I think I know how I want to wear this. I think this is a better layered fragrance versus a standalone. Because for me, this literally smells like a container of cake frosting. It is sweet. It is yummy. But I think it would be better paired with other fragrances. This is Zara Cherry Smoothie. This is something that they came out with last summer. I don't know if they are doing it this year, but I got my hands on this last year. And this is a dead on dupe for K. Ali's Love Fest Burning Cherry. Um, I would say it's about 98%. I think Burning Cherry is a little bit spicier, but they are very similar in scent. This is Victoria's Secret's Dream Angel. This is a beautiful creamy scent with the marshmallow note in it. And this is Joe Malone's Wild Bluebell. Let's see. This is the only Joe Malone fragrance that I have because the thing about Joe Malone fragrances is 
they're not bad fragrances, but they are clones. And they don't last very long. You really have to. I think personally, they are meant to be layered and not wear alone. So you have to layer this up to really get it to shine. But it is a beautiful, clean, fresh scent. Down here, I have Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62. This is another beautiful scent. As you can see, I got quite of a dent in this bottle because I layer it up with K. Ali's Vanilla 28 and man, oh man. Because by itself, the lasting power is not the best. It's not the best, but it is a good scent. This is Britney, P Britney Spears VIP Private Show. And I'm going to tell you, this is one of those fragrances I've been sleeping on. I think I'm going to do a video about my ignored fragrances meaning fragrances that I've been ignoring and I'm not quite sure why because this is a beautiful sweet scent and I'm not sure why but I'm going to start giving her some love next to that I have coach sunset dreams that's a beautiful scent it is a beautiful vanilla citrusy type of scent and I absolutely love it coming into this time of year this is Clinique happy in bloom and I think the bottle is backwards let me see Oh no, it's just the lighting is really, the writing is really light on it, but there it is. It's not backwards. It looked like for a second it was backwards. And if you look, it has a slight purple or lavender tint to it. It is so cute. And that is Clinique Happy with a touch of floral to it. On the bottom row is my Amazing Grace perfumes. So I have Amazing Grace Nude Rose. Love this. This is a beautiful rose scent. It is rose done right. This is Amazing Grace Lavender. Beautiful. And this is my favorite of them all. This is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Look, let me turn this around. This is where we're at. This is almost done. It is almost time for a new bottle. And I prefer this one over the Fresh Cream. That's just personal preference. I like this better because to me, I am picking up a little bit of coconut scent. And if you can see my shadow, hi. <laughs> and then this is Ralph Lauren Woman. Now, I don't know why I'm still holding on to this. I do love it, but it smells very similar to Armani's My Way. So I'm not sure why I'm still keeping this, but I can't let it go. I just love this fragrance. So I have decluttered some and I might do a declutter video, but this ain't going nowhere. All right, so up top here is my rotating rounder that I got off of Amazon. This rotates with all of my other fragrances on it, so let's start at the beginning. So right here is a little mini of Viva La Juicy. Um, it's like a half of an ounce. It's something I throw in my purse when I'm wearing that fragrance. This is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. This was a swap with my sister. So it was funny that she's the Gucci person. She loves all the Gucci fragrances and she swapped me with Gucci number five. So I gave her Gucci number five. She gave me this beautiful swap. I love this. Then we have Donna Karen Cashmere Mist right here. Staple. Been wearing it since the day it came out. And I'm always going to keep wearing it as long as I can find it. This is Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love. This is another ignored fragrance. And I can't understand. Because I, when I first bought this and sprayed it, I was so in love. And that cost me $120. This is the big bottle. This is the big bottle. And I don't know why. Why on God's green earth am I not wearing this? But guess what? She is going to get some wear this spring. That's that ignoring thing is going to end. <laughs> That's going to stop. This is a replica sample here. I think it's a body lotion. Yeah, this is a lotion. This is Lazy Sunday in a lotion. So that's replica. Back here is some perfume oils, a couple of them that I made myself. You can get these off of Amazon. And I'll pop in a picture of what it looks like with the roller ball. So these little roller balls you can get off of Amazon. You drop in a few drops of a fragrance oil. And then you use a carrier oil like, uh, say, vitamin E oil or jojoba oil. And you rub it on your wrist. That's how you make a perfume oil. So I might do a video on that 
so you guys can see how to make your own perfume oils and customize your own scents because I make my own sometimes. And these two I purchased. Now, oops, these two, I'm trying to make sure I keep this in focus. Really? Really now? Blooper. Blooper for you guys. Knocked over my perfume. These two. This one is Al Rehab's Choco Musk. Let me pick this up. I got to fix it anyway. This is Choco Musk. This is a beautiful. If you want to smell like chocolate, if you want a chocolatey smell, this is the perfume oil. And I actually have the full perfume. You'll see that in just a moment. And then this one is one everybody's been going crazy over in the fragrance groups on Facebook, on TikTok. This is the Cumbia Made Vanilla Bean Fragrance Oil. You can find that one on Amazon too. And if I didn't mention, the Choco Musk one is on Amazon as well. So you can get that there too. Right here, the one that I knocked over, this is Kate Spade's In Full Bloom here. This is a beautiful, beautiful floral. Love it. And then this is my standby, my all-time favorite, the original Marc Jacobs Daisy. And I don't know why I keep buying this in a 1.7 ounce. I don't know. This is the third one I've gone through in the last couple of years. I'm just going to next time, I'm going to just bite the bullet and pick up the 3.4 ounce. Because I don't know why I keep doing this. I don't understand. <laughs> so coming down here, I have two Jessica Simpson fragrances. This is I Fancy You, which, as you can see, the dent in this lets you know I really wear this fragrance. This is a beautiful, powdery, fresh, clean, sweet scent. It is gorgeous. If you want to just get up and smell fresh, this is your guy. This is the one you want. This is Jessica Simpson's Fancy. That's the original Fancy, the vanilla Gourmand one that everybody claims is so good. I'm just going to tell you, it's okay. It is an affordable vanilla fragrance, but the problem I have with this is, for me, this is just for me, on the initial spray, it is strong. As it dries down, it does tend to get better, but it's really strong. So coming down here to the bottom, here is the Choco Musk in the full-size bottle. This is the Al Rehab Choco Musk. And as you can see, nice little dent because sometimes... I want to smell like chocolate and I'm telling you this fragrance will get you in a lot of trouble if you layer it the right way I love to layer this with Bath and Body Works vanilla mocha martini formerly vanilla mocha cream and if you don't have that layer this up with some Palmer's cocoa butter oh my god trouble trouble <laughs> and then let me set this to the side for a moment this is Elizabeth Arden's pretty this is a beautiful, clean floral. I got this off of Fragrantica, off of a recommendation. And I'm not really big on Elizabeth Arden fragrances. Look at the cap, it's so cute. But this is a beautiful fragrance. And then behind here is, and I have to put it that way because as you can see, this has no flat surface. It's like a straight spear. This is Issey Miyake's A Drop DSC. I found this on accident. I went to Nordstrom looking for a different fragrance and I ended up finding this and I purchased this instead. This is another clean white floral scent that is just simply divine. And I have to keep it back there because once again, there is no sturdy bottom for it. So it is back behind these other fragrances and that is what's keeping it standing. On the next part of the rounder, I have Ariana Grande's Mod Vanilla. I talked about this fragrance in my What I Got for My Birthday video. And I absolutely love the fragrance, but this bottle, this bottle for me is horrific. I hate this bottle. This white plastic base comes at this bottle. It's just, and that's what most of her packaging on most of her fragrances is clunky. It's plastic and it's unnecessary. That's just my feeling. If you love the bottle, that's great. I love the fragrance. Absolutely hate the bottle. Down here, I have Escada Cherry in Japan, which pairs beautifully with Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom. Beautiful pairing. And then this is Oscar de la Renta's Extraordinary Petal. Let me tell you, this was a cheapie that was worth it. I think I only paid $25 for this. And this is a big bottle. This is a three ounce bottle. This is a beautiful fragrance. It is sweet. It is floral. 
It is absolutely beautiful fragrance. Now on this part of the rounder, I have my two Jimmy Choo fragrances. This is Jimmy Choo Blossom. This is another one that I don't know why I am not showing more love to, but I'm going to start showing more love to this fragrance. It is beautiful. And this is Jimmy Choo Illicit Flower. I want the Illicit because I heard it's a beautiful gourmand, but Illicit Flower, if you want a beautiful white floral clean scent, this is your go-to. This is a good one. And it's cheap. I think I got this for, I think I bought this from Nordstrom Rack and it was $30. Nice cheap fragrance. And this I found in Marshalls and it was $25. So coming down, I have Prada Candy, which is not a cheapie by no stretch of the imagination. This is another one. As you can see, when I take her out, she is still pretty full. I've worn her a couple of times, but I need to wear her a little bit more. I need to give her some more love. And this, to me, has got to be one of the best cheap fragrances I've ever found. This is Guess Girl by Guess. This fragrance is a beautiful, sweet, fruity, floral. It's It just screams summertime in a bottle. And I think I paid $12.99 for this. I found that at Burlington. That is a, that's a find right there. I'm just going to tell you, I was super surprised. And I think on the last part of the rounder, we got here Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy and Ariana Grande Ari. Let me tell you, I love both of these. These are beautiful scents. That little puff ball thing that comes on the end of this, yeah, I took that off and gave it to my nieces. And they have it on their keys because that thing is super hella annoying. Uh, it, like I said with her packaging, I love Ariana Grande. Some of her fragrances... But the packaging is just beyond annoying for me. The only one I really think is cute to me is Thank You Next with the little broken heart in the butt. Now that one I like. That is cute to me. But the cloud and the God is a woman and the mod pack, the packaging for me is ugly. I'm sorry, but it's, it's, it's ugly. <laughs> and then this is Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. Now, I like this fragrance. As you can see, I haven't used it much. But the problem with this fragrance is the lasting power is not good. Not good at all. That lasting power just doesn't hit for me. And then here we have Alfred Sung's She. Now, you want to talk about a beautiful aquatic fragrance. This is a beautiful, beautiful aquatic, fresh Fresh cut grass after the rain, floral fragrance, gorgeous. And I've been wearing that ever since it came out. And when it was discontinued, I was in a frenzy because I'm like, where am I going to find this? And I had been looking up over the years and finding, and I found this bottle on Amazon. So, yeah, but that's everything on the rounders. So that's my fragrance wheel with all of my perfumes on the rounder. So now I'm going to go to the next stand. And this is the last of the fragrances on this side. So I have more after this. This is all my Zara fragrances. So this is Zara Hibiscus. That is a beautiful, juicy, sweet floral fragrance. Coco Pebs talked about this fragrance, and I will link her channel in the description bar below. She does a lot of fragrance, Zara fragrance videos, and she got me hooked on this fragrance. It is juicy and beautiful. This is uh, Zara's Violet Bouquet. This is sexy. It's very unique, very sexy, beautiful fragrance. And I absolutely love it. It is amazeballs. This is Zara's Woman Gold. I haven't given this much love either. I need to wear her a little bit more. She's kind of a, I would say more of a date night. I wouldn't wear this during the day. This is more of a date night fragrance to me. And then this is Zara's New Way. Now, this is good during the day. Noue is powdery, is soft. It kind of reminds you of Cashmere Mist, but it's a little bit softer. So I actually love that fragrance. And coming down here, starting on this end, this I have just rediscovered why I love this. This is the original Lolita Lampica. Jesus. This fragrance is so powdery, powdery excuse me, and beautiful and soft and sweet and feminine. This is femininity in a bottle. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful feminine fragrance. Love it. This right here is delicious cotton candy. 
Now, this is another cheapie that I'm glad I found. I love this fragrance because I pair it with Bath & Body Works Cotton Candy Cloud. And I, if you know, I am not a fan of Aqualina's Pink Sugar. I absolutely hate that burnt sugar smell. This smells like straight up cotton candy. This does not have that burnt smell to it. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy, another sweet, fruity fragrance that's going to get some love during this warmer weather. Love that fragrance. Coming down here, because my Juice Couture bottles is hot in, so let me just zoom out a little bit. There we go. This is Christian Dior's Poison Girl, another one that I need to give more love to. When I first got it, I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful, and I have not worn it shoot me I don't know why this is Burberry weekend this fragrance here I love this this is another one that I'm going to keep buying as long as I can keep finding it I've been rocking this since it came out that is a beautiful sweet oh my god I don't even know how to describe it it is so good I love that fragrance this is Vince Camuto's Florian as you can see it's almost gone but not to fear because I have a trial size roller. I have a roller ball of this and I actually have two because I made a mistake and bought two and didn't realize I added two of them to cart. So even if that runs out, I still have the roller ball. And then here we have Versace's Dylan Turquoise. Another one that's clean, fresh, breezy. It just makes you think about sailing on an ocean on a sunny day and the breeze is blowing through your hair. That's what Dylan Turquoise makes me think about. And if you come down here on the bottom row, put this back where it was. These are my Juicy Couture fragrances. This is Juicy Couture Noir, beautiful berry scent with the original Juicy Couture DNA. This is Juicy Couture Gold. Now, this is where I make dumb decisions because I bought this in a one ounce. And look at this. I will be getting a huge, humongous bottle of that when I repurchase. And then this is Juicy Couture Rosé. And this is the beautiful, rosy version of Viva La Juicy with a hint of rose. So this is all of my fragrances on the big dresser next to my makeup on the rotisserie stand here that rotates so let's go to the next set of fragrances all right so these are the fragrances that you see in the background of most of my videos this is my most beloved fragrances my high-end fragrances so let's go through this collection so starting up top here we have dolce gabbana's liam perchtis i hope i'm saying that correctly this fragrance is so delicious. It is watermelon, kiwi. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. The only hiccup I have with this fragrance is that it is not very long lasting at all. You might get three hours out of it. If you don't pair it with something, you're not going to get a lot out of it. And it's such a shame because it's a beautiful fragrance. I absolutely love it. Next is K. Ali's Eden Juicy Apple. Eden Juicy Apple is a delicious berry apple. That's the best way I can describe it. It is berries. It is apple. It is mwah, wonderful. This right here is the most beautiful fragrance. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. And I rock this a lot throughout the winter. It doesn't like it have much of a dent in it because... You really don't need much with this. You A couple of sprays and you're good. You don't need to take a bath in this. It's beautiful. Then we have YSL's Leap Intense. And for some reason, I am more into the intense versions of fragrances. I've noticed that I tend to gravitate to the intense versions of a fragrance versus the original. And then coming down here, we have my beloved Burberry Her. See the dent in that bottle? She's been getting some wear. Burberry Her is amazing. It's a beautiful strawberry scent that I think you can wear all year round. You really could. If you pair it up with certain things, it changes the scent. 
Pair it with a little bit of vanilla to make it warm for the winter months. Pair it with some type of berry scent. I like to pair this with either Bath & Body Works Strawberry Snowflake or Victoria's Secret Pink's Warm and Cozy. That's a good thing to pair it with. Then here we have uh, Terry Mugler's Angel Nova. Now, when I first bought Angel Nova, I'm going to be frank. When I first bought this fragrance, I was not fanatic about it because there was a weird note in it. And I got the sweetness, but there was something weird at the end in the dry down, and I found out there was an oud note in here. I'm not the biggest fan of oud fragrances. I'm really not. But if you let this dry, it is beautiful. Once it dries, the oud calms down, and the raspberries come through. I'm not a fanatic person of strong, overpowering, off-pitting fragrances. That's not my niche. But I love it now. And we have my beloved Kaoli Vanilla 28. Do you see the dent in that bottle? Yeah, that's a big dent. And it's true what they say. The longer you have it, the darker the fragrance gets. And the sweeter it gets. It gets sweeter. Next to that, I have Kaoli's Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. Now, I heard through the grapevine that at the end of this month, I think next week, Kaoli has a new fragrance coming out. That's what I heard, and my ears are tingling because I am very curious. That'll be my fourth Kaoli fragrance if I like it. Kaoli is hitting me with these fragrances. And then coming down to this row, we have Skylar's Vanilla Sky. Vanilla Sky is a beautiful, warm, spicy vanilla scent. It is amazing. This is perfect for wintertime. And I think I will not be wearing this again until fall rolls back around. I think this is a little too spicy to try to pull off in the summer months. Then you have Ellis Brooklyn's Vanilla Milk. This is one you probably can pull off. You could probably pull this off in the warm months. And the reason why is it smells like melted vanilla ice cream. What is more refreshing in the summertime than vanilla ice cream? So I think this one you could pull off in the warmer months. Then next to that, I have my Dolce Gabbana's The Only One. This is another one. I'm like, why did you buy this little bitty bottle? Why did you buy this little teeny tiny bottle of this? Knowing that you are absolutely over the moon about this fragrance. Look at the dent in this little bottle. I don't know why. I don't know why. God, some of the decisions I make, I need you to guide me in them. <laughs> this is Valentino's Donna Born in Roma. This is the original one. They have a new one. I'm going to check it out and see how I feel. But the original is like my favorite. This is Armani's My Way Intense. Notice I said I like the intense versions of fragrances. This is the intense version of My Way. I tend to like this a little bit more. Coming down to this last row here. In this last row, I have Gucci Guilty. Look, this bottle. This bottle. You can see me in the bottle a little bit. This bottle is, is just magnificent. And if that wasn't enough, look at the Versace Eros Porfim bottle. This, this gold is just getting me. Look at all this gold together. This is a beautiful fragrance. Then you have uh, Mugler's Alien Goddess. My God, this right here is the epitome of summertime, beachy, coconutty, soft, just beautiful. And then, like I said, this is the original black opium. This is in a limited edition packaging. This is the original black opium, and then this is black opium extreme. And the difference between the two, this has a similar DNA of this, but this is like a sexier version. It literally has a cocoa note in it, and that's what gives it the sexiness. Then right here we have Mont Blanc, not Mont Blanc, excuse me, we're coming to Mont Blanc. This is Mont Perry, also by YSL. So I have one, two, three YSL fragrances. YSL is just breaking my wallet. They are killing me. Now I'm gonna move this out the way because I want you to see something here. Let me slide this over. Do you see this says the future is female? This is an old candle that I had. 
and it says the future is female on it. I'm sliding this out the way momentarily. Oops. It says the future is female. And then look what's sitting on top of it. Of course, Carolina Herrera was a good girl. Is that not, look at, look at that pairing. The future is female and she got her stiletto on and she is stomping all over the barriers that keep women back. Her stilettos is digging heels in these barriers because the future is female. I love this. And I don't even know when I saved this, I did not know I was getting this fragrance when I saved that candle holder. But yeah, she is stepping all over the barriers that keep women back. So the future is female. If y'all don't know, you better recognize. Let me put this back. <laughs> so that is my Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I absolutely love that fragrance. It is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Then coming here, let's move Mont Perry out the way. Now we have Mont Blanc. This is Mont Blanc Signature. My God, when I first saw this all over the fragrance group on Facebook, I'm like, what is everybody wigging out about? What is this about? And I went in Nordstrom because it is exclusive to Nordstrom, and I checked it out, and man, this is lactonic, creamy, almond, vanilla. This is just a dream in a bottle. This is so good. Then we have here Victor and Rolf's Good Fortune. This is the newest Victor and Rolf fragrance. I love it. It's powdery. It's soft. It's that signature Victor and Rolf sweetness that all their fragrance have. This is beautiful. And then this is Versace's Dylan Blue. Love this. You see, I got this big bottle. Love Dylan Blue. This is a clean, beautiful scent. It is simply amazing. So coming back, this is all the fragrances here that sits behind me in the background of my videos. These are my more expensive fragrances and these are the fragrances that I tend to grab more than anything. So that is my entire collection, you guys. All right, guys, that was my collection video. Thank you so much for watching this video, for liking, commenting, subscribing, all the wonderful things that makes the algorithm beautiful and it makes me feel beautiful that you like what I do here and it makes me want to always do more so once again thank you for watching this video I don't have a whole lot to say I mean this is probably one of the most pleasant videos that I have made especially after that last disaster so thank you thank you so much be blessed be safe be happy be joyous be loved and until next time Bye, guys.